hey guys welcome back to my channel go and click that like and subscribe button to get turned up but totally tired so i was gonna make this into like a skip like the skip part two i guess you can say about how customer not customers how employees get treated by their managers like how we get treated but it was really not that much i could talk about make it funny or say about it so i'm gonna do the original thing which is make a pros and cons of working at chick fil where i'm gonna speak about how it is like actually working there and like kind of how we get treated i couldn't make it into a skit like i was literally sitting there, like how can i make this into a skit like because i actually enjoyed it i got some uh what's the word some good criticism from a friend about how i can fix things in the future honestly that's why i hit him up early before i even made it like try to upload the video and i thought about the girl i'm dumb this boy is not gonna give me no advice on no damn video and surprise he actually did um but then by the time i had already uploaded but at least it helped me for the next time uh it was just like little things he was saying uh for once i didn't take it personal um, I'm gonna have a like right after this. I'm gonna make a YouTube video about this guy and whoa, <laughs> all that tea and juice. Like, what's been going on with me personally? Because a few of y'all have been asking, like, oh, what's going on with you in the army? Are you still doing that? Do, 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 do. And I'm like, in my head, I keep going back and forth. Because every time I be like, yeah, I'm going back in the army, something happens. If it's not with me hearing some about social media about the army, it's something personally happened to a friend that's in the army i was like bruh i don't know what god is telling me what does god want like does god want me to go back in the army or they, they don't want me to mess with the army or uh, how about the air force i haven't heard nothing bad about the air force like oh so yeah <laughs> there's that um i kind of want to get my money like i said situations i haven't even been in contact with any doctors anything right now um because every time where i get a paycheck i have to buy at least one outfit and that's a problem and i'm now i'm starting to pay rent and i pay gas money i'm sorry i'm getting off topic but it is a lot it's a lot but this is how what this video is about that's what the next video is going to be about about everything that's been going on with me personally um well uh, first, I'm just talking about the pros of working at Chick Fil A. The Chick Fil A I personally work at, uh, I don't think every Chick Fil A does that. Cause I remember I went to the orientation meeting when I first got hired. She was saying she was like, "Yeah, the Chick Fil A station you work at, you get free food." But the Chick Fil A, the other two girls who was at the orientation was like, "Yeah, y'all don't get free food. Y'all just get discount." So I guess it all depends on what Chick Fil A you work at. But the Chick Fil A I work at, the Chick Fil A station I work at, they give us free food. We get free number one, and what is it? Number ones, twos. I think I don't know which number it is. I think it's number three for the nuggets, if I'm not mistaken. I've been working there for damn two months. I mean, dang two months. <laughs> I should know. I should already really have the um, me memorized by this point. But anyways, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, it is. Cause it's number one is the original Chick Fil A. Number two is the spicy sandwich. Number three is the nuggets. Number four is the um, strips. Number five is the grilled sandwich. And I think number six is the grilled sandwich club. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, number three. We get number one, number two, number three for free on the lunch menu but on the breakfast menu we want to get number one number two free and if we want anything else besides what i just said we just get a discount a percentage and it's a good percentage actually because uh it takes off i don't know i can't remember a lot of the station the station i work out they give us free food yeah. um when i be on breaks i never pay i like really i every time i would go to chick-fil-a and i work at chick-fil-a i never pay so another pro uh it's chick-fil-a <laughs> like it's chick-fil-a um it's always somebody i that's kind of like a pro and a con it's like in the middle with that one because it's like 
working at a restaurant when it's or working kind of anywhere there's never a time where you're bored not barely lately i've been kind of surprised just lately i've been kind of surprised because i've kind of be having those um moments where it's no customer and i'm like wow okay and i'll be taking advantage of it too because i have can you not i go in the bathroom just to kind of mess around a little bit just to you know be on my phone and i come out and it's a whole mind of folks like bro i was just in there five minutes what is going on i can you not like and what's another pro working at chick-fil-a uh if you work there for a while you get like um free medical insurance like it's a list of stuff um i'm probably gonna put it on the stream here because i'm probably gonna relook it up all the stuff benefits from working at chick-fil-a uh yeah i feel like too it'd be a lot of business people at chick-fil-a and who knows you might get lucky and a model agency walk up in chick-fil-a then look at you go quit chick-fil-a to be a model like you know it's really like professional people that go to chick-fil-a versus mcdonald's so you know like it really be professional people up in chick-fil-a getting paid on orders and Mm, it should probably just a very different energy than any other restaurant. I guess because it's a Christian based restaurant. No other restaurant at all is like Chick fil A. Um, you know, can't nobody say Chick fil A nasty. <clears throat> nobody can say Chick fil A is nasty. They can say it's expensive, but nobody can say it's nasty. Uh, what else? I mean, everybody there is friendly. They get, well, I think that's kind of everywhere. I don't know. I feel like, but Chick Fil A. I feel like Chick Fil A is more picketive when it comes to employees. So you, that's a pro. Because Chick Fil A is not gonna hire any old person. If you're getting a ratchet, you know, you're you had a bad attitude, you're mean. They're not gonna hire you because Chick Fil A is only people that are here. Look out in my skit. You just gotta be butterfly and rainbow. So you wanna worry about worry about working with no asshole because I should feel like they not gonna hire nobody like that. So at least everybody's gonna be nice. I don't know, that kind of that kind of leads to a con because I kinda of feel like it's like everybody's fake. Cause how nice and well, they are. <laughs> On top of that slick, that's the kind of what I be thinking in the back of my head. And I have called a few of my manager in some fake moments too so i'm just like yeah that's kind of a, in the middle again what's another pro working at chick-fil-a like it's a good job like it is it's all right or whatever i was i'd rather work at chick-fil-a somewhere i feel like it's a like professional type restaurant than mcdonald's like I don't know. Like, I guess that's just the bougie side of it. Like, if I got to work at a fast food, let it be a bougie fast food restaurant. Like, like if I wasn't working at Chick Fil A, I would probably another restaurant. I work at is like a high end restaurant. Like, fuck yeah, I don't know Red Lobster. I don't get to the cons. The cons of working at Chick Fil A. Um, at Chick Fil A. You can never just be standing there. Like, so let's say, for example, you always got to do something. You always got to stay busy, actually. Uh, let's say, for example, like you just took somebody's order and it's nobody else kind of there. So you got to like sign at the register, like, mm, you know, I'm just going to stand here and wait for somebody else to come at the door. No, you can't. As soon as you take that person's order, like, as soon as it's a moment for you to actually breathe and, like, like you don't have really nothing to do, you gotta do something. You, you gotta find something to do. And the moment you take an order and there's nobody else behind there, it's like it kind of leaves you in a position just kind of, like, standing there and wandering around, your manager gonna be on your, your butt. She gonna, or he, either work. Because I have two... Uh, I have some. It's so many managers at Chick Fil A. I don't know if that's everywhere, but Chick Fil A, we got like ten managers. <laughs> we got like ten managers, but yeah, he or she is gonna tell you find something to do. Um, stock, 
you know, stock up on sauces, mm-hmm. stock up on cups, um, do a dining room check, clean the tables, we yeah, yeah. like do something. You gotta do something. Like you can't just be standing there. You can't. That's a rule. You can't clean some trays. That's what that's my number one thing. If you wanna know like if you work at Chick-fil-A, you're like, oh what should I do? Like uh, Are you thinking about working at Chick-fil-A? Clean some trays. It's always a dirty tray somewhere. Clean it. It is kind of always something to do. It, but it does be at a point where it's literally nothing you can do. Like, the lemonade is filled up. The cups are stocked. Like, it's so many damn sauces in the tray. It's overflowing now. Like, when it's absolutely nothing to do, that's when I dip and I do go to the bathroom. I'm just like, wow. Y'all, y'all don't be on me just standing here. So, yeah, you can't just be standing. That's why I like headset. Because headset, where it is, it's like we're up in a little corner taking an order um, for drive through and you can just really just lay, stand around when you're running in front of everybody front and front counter taking the orders and everybody can see you just standing around yeah that's when they gonna be on I'm on that like where is you going with <laughs> like like they gonna be on you like do something find something to do and you constantly be on your feet like that, bro. I promise you. The first, was it? Yeah, the first nine hours shift I ever got. My feet were throbbing. And it was throbbing up to my leg. Like, I could feel the throbbing going up my leg. Bro, I've never felt this much pain since the Army. <laughs> that says something. In the Army, that, or oh, my legs and feet were hurt. It's because we did fucking three mile, four mile, six mile ruck marches. We marched everywhere. It was no transportation. It was no bus. It was no car. Walk and come back boots. You only get one 20 minute break. No matter how long you work at a nine hour show, 10 hour show, 11, you only get one 20 minute break. You clock out, clock back in. That's it. That's the con. You can't do overtime at Chick Fil A. So what I did, um, Valentine's Day. That was the only day they had me off. One of my he was begging me to take his shift because it was something personal with him going on. I was like, you know what? It's not like I got something going on Valentine's Day anyway. Then I actually didn't end up still going through with my plans. Well, I actually ended up making plans though. For Valentine's Day, but the moment I was thinking in my head, like, I don't want nothing to do for Valentine's Day, I don't really do it. <laughs> because, you know. And I took their shift, his shift, right? And they gonna tell me, yeah, you're overtime now, and we can only have the employees at a certain percentage. So, tomorrow when you come in for work, instead of working 8 to 4, you only work 9 to 2. I was like, what? And then I noticed this week, uh, like I said, ever since I did that, they've been not having me have as many hours. Today only worked 6 30 to 2. And for <laughs> again, I didn't know y'all, y'all work, y'all go like that. So that's a con. You get to buy your own jacket. So if you're cold, they want to give you this thin short sleeve red shirt and these pants and jacket that's all they give you you have to buy jacket you have which is 50 dollars you have to buy the jacket and you have to you know obviously buy your slip resistant shoes i'm so glad the ones i bought the ones i bought are fila memory foam slip resistant shoes and i love those things because bro i tell you when i tell you that chick-fil-a it be slippery. I just be having throwing ice on the ground, spilling. I spilled. I overflowed uh, coffee today on accident. There was coffee all over the floor. Nobody cleans that up. So we just walking around, splashing coffee when we walk. Puddles of coffee. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Something else. Something else we need to say is a con. Uh, obviously. So sorry, my friend called me and it's like an hour later. <laughs> we was on the phone. I don't know. I just like talking to him. I don't really have anything else to say. Like I said, I feel like it's kind of like every restaurant. Um, you know, you can't have your hair dye weird colors you can't have fake nails technically but girl 
Yeah. Don't mind my nails, but yeah, I got some fake nails. Like, three weeks ago, I only got one left. This one's still hanging on strong. I'm thinking about getting like maybe three more tattoos, and that's it. I don't want my whole body tatted up like me personally. That's not cute. I probably get, I'm thinking about getting two-ish, two or three-ish more on my back. I mean, I don't have any, like, showable chick play number seven. I mean, like I said, my tattoos on my back, you can't see my back. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, and plus my manager, all she has is tattoos on her arms. So I really don't even think they'll make that big of a deal since we do have a manager where her whole, she has sleeves on both arms. So <laughs> I guess that's a pro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that's really a thing. But honestly, I feel like the manager can do it. She really shouldn't care. <laughs> if um, you have tattoos on your arms, so I guess I can make that a pro. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe.